Where would you say firms are as far as uh, manual processes and corporate action systems? I think there's a, a pretty wide range in terms of where businesses are, but generally every single business that tracks announcements, tracks corporate actions, has some level of workforce doing manual extractions. You know, they're reading press releases, they're reading private news, they're monitoring websites, and they're looking at the information and simply typing it into formats. And automation can certainly aggregate a lot of that, and some of the information has already been automated, but uh, the vast majority of the manual data extraction work when you're looking at uh, formats that tend to change a lot, like websites, PDFs, images, um, news feeds, all this kind of stuff changes so fast that it's difficult for traditional automation to stay accurate. So you end up getting a lot of exceptions, and that causes an IT problem and it causes a workforce problem. So our model is to first have uh, human data analysts, whether it's a business's FTE base or a captive workforce that's been outsourced or crowdsourced workers to um, monitor these sites through our platform, basically doing the work on our platform. Um, and then over the course of, call it, you know, maybe 150 or 200 extractions, that's enough repetition for our software to identify a pattern and then reliably and durably train an algorithm to automate the work. Um, so what is, what is holding firms back, you know, from automation? To be honest, I think it's awareness. I don't think most businesses know that there's a platform, that there's technology to automate a lot of the work that they didn't think was automatable. And I also think there's probably a little bit of resistance to change. You know, this is a, a fairly, it's a strong business, but it's a fairly niche business, corporate actions, and I think it's going to take uh, a bold statement by one of the bigger players, like once we start publishing case studies, for everyone to go, oh wow, look, we can automate all this. We're already in at seven of the top ten data vendors, and we've been talking with a lot of the big banks. So I think we're probably about a year away from a great tipping point where people realize how much work can be automated, and they start automating it, and then raising the, the application of human intelligence to far more valuable work. And what standards and initiatives are are helping firms embrace more automation? Well, I mean, we all know about uh, ISO, I guess it's ISO 2022. Everyone knows about that, XBR certainly. So I think there will probably come a point in time, just based on what I've heard at the conference, I'm not a subject matter expert, I know our platform, and I'm, I'm proficient enough in corporate actions to know how to marry the two, basically. But I think everyone is excited about um, all of the issuers embracing one standard platform to, to make announcements, and that'll make it all basically moot, relevant. But I think we're probably a ways away. It's kind of like the LEI. Everyone thought the legal entity identifier was going to be, um, you know, the holy grail of identifying companies. But at uh, another conference I was at, I think it was uh, a Waters conference, there was a, a poll that was done, and apparently a very small percentage of businesses had really embraced the LEI. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to take uh, competitive pressure and regulatory pressure for all these businesses to adopt one standard.